Hey guys! So, I have been thinking, with the holidays coming up and everything like that, we have Thanksgiving here in America, um, and I figured I would talk about some of the stuff that, that goes on. So, we have, sorry, we have Thanksgiving and then we have Christmas. Um, at schools, they usually let out for a couple weeks or maybe a month in college for Thanksgiving you get a couple days off and then for Christmas you have pretty much a month and then school starts up in January again at least for me uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is stress of course we have final exams and everything coming up it's an extremely stressful time because you have to study for your exams you have to work if you know you are working on top of of all that stuff, you still have the current homework that's taking place. So you're trying to refresh on everything that you've learned so far, continue learning, and trying to do everything else on top of it with homework and all that stuff. So I have a few tips that I use to de-stress. Um, one major thing that I notice really helps me whenever I start feeling really stressed out is just to take a moment and just breathe. And if it's something that I can immediately work on or change, then I'll do that. Now, if it's something that's completely out of my control, I try and remind myself through self-talk that it's going to be fine. That if I can't control it, there is no use in worrying over it. It's very difficult, but you have to change your own perspective. You know, you have to teach yourself that everything's going to be fine. And it will be. You can't just look at stress as a completely negative thing because it can be really, really good. It can help motivate you. It can help you be more prepared. It can help you get things done ahead of time. There's so many positives whenever it comes to stress that we have to kind of change, change our perspective to look at those things. I, I learned this in class, but I also kind of realized it myself in a way also because I've always self-talked, like, um, calming myself down whenever something bad happens or whatever, and it's like, no, I'll be fine. I was fine before, I'll be fine after, it's okay. So that's one major thing whenever it comes to exams, is just being able to talk to yourself, not stressing out, because stress results in loss of sleep, loss of your appetite, and just things combined are really bad. You know, because if you lose sleep, you have a harder time remembering things, you have a harder time absorbing information, and it's just overall not very good. If you lose your appetite, you're not getting the food and nutrition that you need, so that's affecting your brain, which, you know, not having sleep also affects your brain. And there are, there are a few, a few things. So learning how to manage and cope with your stress is extremely important whenever it comes to exams or life in general. So, always try. And <clears throat> excuse me. Blah, 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 blah. Always try and plan things out. Like, if you know that you're going to have an exam on a set day at a set time, be prepared for that exam. Review. Do what you can. And if you've been reading or studying or whatever, practicing throughout the semester, you will be more prepared than someone who has not done their work. You will be able to be more familiarized with your material, which is extremely important. So do yourself a favor and do your work. You won't stress nearly as much. You will be more confident. And I got something on my shirt. You'll be more confident whenever it comes to your exams and everything. I know I'm just totally rambling. Anyway, <laughs> so, relax. Exams are coming up, but it will be fine. Just do your best. That's all you can do. And try not to stress negatively. Stress in a good way. Make stress work for you. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>